Hey everybody, for the next few weeks, Soda Pop Talks is going to be coming to you live from Galco's, the mecca of soda. Danny, are you ready for everything that's inside? I'm ready. I think I'm a little bit ready, so let's do it. I love my baby and I take that pop. I'm dancing and romancing at the Soda Pop Hop, at the Soda Pop Hop. I'm chilling now. Welcome to Soda Pop Talk, the show that takes all the fear out of trying something new and replaces it with sweet soda goodness. I'm Davey Enns, this is my brother in carbonation, Danny A, and today we're going to talk about Berghoff Root Beer, which Berghoff Root Beer, from Chicago, Chicago, one of the greatest cities in the world, uh, known for so many things, CM Punk, the Blackhawks, lots of good stuff there. And just to give you a little heads up, Berghoff has been around since 1920 in the Prohibition days. Um, well, the legend, the legend is that Berghoff himself, since he could no longer make uh, beer and other libations like that, he basically made this root beer and other flavors and just started to take off from there. So we're going to try it today and tell you what we think about it. So let's go with the first look. Danny, open it up, pour me a glass, and see what we got. Okay. We cut in here? Or? No. <laughs> It's, 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 I think it's twist off. Okay. Shit. But this never works. Okay. Now what? All right. Let's pour it out and see what do we got. Tell me. Consistency. A lot of carbonation. What? I'm not prepared for this. It's brown. <laughs> it looks like root beer. Yeah, it has a really like robust root beer look to it. It's mm -hmm. really good. It's dark. It's a dark ale. I've never actually tried this one, so this is all new to me. I've yeah. heard like really good things about it. Me too. Okay, so let's see. It has like that really like, like gin, like kind of, I don't know if it's that ginger smell to it. It's vanilla. Yeah, there you go, vanilla. You need to get your, uh, My nose your checked, nose apparently, checked yeah. apparently. I like, uh, it doesn't, the carbonation is actually a really good level. It doesn't overpower you, overpower it. Um, those bubbles are flying out of there. Yeah. And I like the uh, Berghoff branding. It's simple, but it's nice, you know? That's cool. It's pretty old-fashioned. It says old-fashioned, so there you go. That's what they were going for. All right, well, let's, uh, let's take a taste and see what we got. Man, that's... Uh, I don't know. Root beer has always been one of those things to me that... Either you're in the mood for it or you're not. I know there's uh, people that are really fanatical about it, and there is a really great, rich flavor to it. But it's for me, it's something that I don't often crave. But I actually like the flavor. It's it's got a very subtle, subtle blend of vanilla and I'm gonna and some, almost like caramel in a way. I'm gonna say you're 100% wrong. Tell me. Um, no, I just disagree with you. It's not very subtle to me. It has a pretty big cream finish but it's almost the, the, like a, it's almost like a cream soda that's the, the finish the finish is uh, actually i agree with you there the finish is really good yeah but it doesn't really overpower you at first taste no it doesn't it really doesn't taste like anything at first taste it seems to all kind of rush in there and i'm not saying that's exactly bad it's just not what i expect from a root beer so we're going to give you our final score when we come back after this after a hard day at the office, working up a big thirst, many professionals reach for the smooth taste of Mellow Yellow. Woo, baby! Mellow Yellow, the taste that beats Mountain Dew. And now, Mellow Yellow has pictures and all the facts on your favorite NWA wrestlers. Ric Flair, Sting, the Road Warriors, and even my pretty face. Head to your favorite store and collect all 12. Woo! Take it for Dusty Rhodes, the American Dream. Make the Mellow Yellow move. Welcome... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> All right. We've, we've tasted, we've looked at Berghoff Root Beer. Uh, we're going to give you our final score. Soda Pop Talk system works on a two-person, one-to-five scale for each of us, and then we combine those scores to give you an overall final score. So, Danny, one-to-five, what do you give Berghoff? I'm going to give it a solid three. Um, only give because Only because I didn't expect it to be more like a cream soda than a root beer. I, was, uh, I expect a root beer when I drink a root beer, but... That doesn't mean it's bad. 
So I'm going to go a solid three. I'd drink it again. See, I, I'm not a root beer guy, and I, I'm going to score. I, actually, I'm going to give this a four because it's been, out of all the root beers I've ever tried, it's been my favorite. The flavors, to me, uh, they don't knock you on your, on your back. They actually are just the right amount of flavor for you. So I, I, I like the look, and I like the way it doesn't overpower in the pour. So I'm going to give it a four because I really like it. So total, we're going to give Berg's Root Beer a seven. So that's a four good... Four plus three. Four plus three, yes. Seven. <laughs> he can do math, people. Mm -hmm. So Scores a seven. Great score. Try Berghoff Root Beer. It's, you're not going to regret it. If you're a root beer enthusiast, this is definitely going to be one for you. Danny, any final thoughts on Berghoff? Um, other than repeating myself, I drink it again. That's what all the fizz is about when it comes to Berghoff root beer. As always, subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, share it with your friends. If you don't like it, share it with your enemies.